I was obsessed with Cinderella, like all kids are, um, with like fairy tales and Disney and like, I was like, ah, oh, I'm Cinderella. And I was a klutz as a child. Like I couldn't walk straight without dropping something or breaking something or, you know, breaking some bones. And um, <laughs> my dad used to call me Bandarella instead of Cinderella. Now Bandar in Hindi means monkey. And he used to say, you're a bunderella. And I used to get really offended. I was like, why would you call me a bunderella? I'm Cinderella. I could be pretty. I could wear a gown. I could be Cinderella. He was like, no, you drop shit around all the time. You know, somebody <laughs> always has to be walking behind you so you don't break. You're a bunderella. <coughs> so one day I got really offended and we had this conversation. And I went up to him, like, you know, with all my, like, emotions in check. And I said, Dad, it makes me feel really bad when you say bunderella. So he sat me down for the first time, seriously explained it to me. He said, whatever you are and whatever you might want to be, that is the best version of you. So you drop stuff around or you are a clumsy and you're a klutz, but it's you. And that's what makes you special. Why would you ever want to fit into some glass slipper? And I was like, I didn't understand that. Mm -hmm. At nine, I think I understood it at 15 when I knew what a glass ceiling was because he said you don't want to fit into a glass slipper that someone has made for you that you need to fit into you break the glass ceiling and at 15 I was like whoa that's what that meant <laughs> until then I was like where's the glass ceiling <laughs> but it exists in such a big way and that really shaped me so like things like that about my parents coming from a country like that really shaped who I was Clear, clearly, and I just spoke to my mother who lives in Manhattan, and I said, Mom, I'm going to do this panel with Priyanka. And the first thing she said to me was, Tell Priyanka to get married and settle down. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing she asked me to pass on to you. So <laughs> any of you know any That's single men <laughs> that you want to set Priyanka, we'll put a board upside, outside, <laughs> and you can and, just start. And if I stayed on the phone for two more minutes, oh, yeah, no, if I stayed on the phone right. for two more minutes, she'd have recommended five guys that she found in some. But, but 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 clearly, culturally, there, there are these defining moments and expectations um, that that even when you are encouraged to think bigger and and, and beyond, um, there are these still these moments, such as marriage, but that I are defining. Like, I feel like it's really not just a cultural thing. I think women, like, think about it. All the fairy tales, all the fairy tales we've always read, end when the princess gets married. Why is there no story beyond that? That's the end of her life. Is oh my God, she got the prince and she's married. That's the next role you're gonna play. There we go. We've got your next movie. <laughs> After she gets married, what happens? 